experiment to prepare a solution of sodium thiosulfate and standardize it by titration against a solution of iodine. In this experiment, we shall make up an approximate 0.1 molar solution of sodium thiosulfate. We shall then find the exact concentration of this solution by titrating it against a solution of iodine. Sodium thiosulfate, Na2S2O3, is an important reducing agent in chemistry. About 6.25 grams sodium thiosulfate crystals were weighed out accurately. Taking all the usual precautions, such as washing the clock glass, the crystals were transferred to a beaker containing 100 centimeters cubed, approximately, of deionized water. The crystals were stirred to dissolve them, and when dissolved, the solution was transferred to a clean 250 centimeters cubed volumetric flask. All the washings were transferred to the volumetric flask and made up to the mark with deionized water. The stoppered flask was inverted about 20 times. The pipette, burette and conical flask have already been rinsed with deionized water. The burette was washed out with some of the sodium thiosulfate solution and filled up to the mark with the solution. The tap and space below the tap were also filled and the funnel was removed from the burette. Using a pipette filler, 25 centimeters cubed of the KMNO4 solution had been pipetted into the conical flask. Using a graduated cylinder, add 20 centimeters cubed approximately of dilute sulfuric acid. followed by 10 centimetres cubed of 0.5 molar potassium iodide solution to the conical flask. Note the brown colour of the iodine that is formed inside in the conical flask. Iodine has the formula I2. The iodine is formed by the reaction shown on the screen. That is, the permanganate ions and iodide ions react inside in the conical flask. We now titrate the thiosulfate in the burette against the iodine in the conical flask. Note that the colour in the conical flask is becoming lighter as we carry out the titration. This is because the iodine, which is reddish brown, is being changed into iodide, which is colourless. We continue titrating until the colour of the solution in the conical flask becomes pale yellow.
straw color. Now add a few drops of starch indicator until a blue black color is observed. Continue the titration, adding the thiosulfate solution drop by drop until the blue black color disappears. Note the titration figure. Perform one rough and two accurate titrations.
the two accurate titration figures should agree to within 0.1 cm cubed. Using the titration figures that you yourself have obtained, calculate the exact concentration of the sodium thiosulfate solution. The method of calculation is shown in your textbook. This concludes the experiment.